go. I hate these damn things. What's up with you, America? They can't kind of check in. You know, a lot of my fans, friends, family, supporters have been asking, hey, damn, what's, what's going on with your music and everything? It's a lot of things I can't say for real for legal issues, but I'm focused, I'm disciplined, and I'm dedicated. Um, I have mixtape coming soon, October 4th. Bunch of hits on there, a bunch of features on the brand. My whole city with me this time. Like, you know, my last mixtape was kind of childish. Stepping that shit up for a show. Um, been a lot of niggas in the city talking that shit too late. Guess people call themselves making comebacks and shit like that. I guess they saying the new Natty grinding. That shit dead too because. I said, FDD, we about to set a standard in this music shit. For us, yo, shout out to Flea, Daddy Don, Vinny Bag, Whole Two, Four, Quay, Lou, I see y'all niggas. Get the guap, Lil Zay, Cookie, Sleep, and that's my The list going on, Mighty. The list going on, man. You know? Um, a lot of things I wanted to talk about for real, but that's all right. We're in the band, though, obviously. Savage Life. Really got me smoking these damn things, but um, as far as this battle scene goes, I'll be taking place in a couple battles, man. After I take this nigga L's fucking head off, man, I'm gonna call out a couple of you artists. I mean, I could battle. You could tuck tail like a little girl and use excuses, but you gonna see what people want in. And they say drop a song, um, Life is point five, about to drop song from free. Gotta make sure y'all don't fuck with that. For sure, everything real. See my nigga take money, man. On the front, man. Four FBB, man. He's like that when all this shit started. You know? Um, another thing, like with my friends, the FBB, the people who just who hit the meat, you know, just now getting hit to what I got going. It's a power movement, man. It's a whole bunch of great artists. It's, it's a. How can I put it? It's a foundation. And we're bringing a lot of shit together. We're gonna be bringing a lot of people to this city. We're gonna take a lot of people out of this city. You need to reach me for anything. My new contact info is bitcamp at gmail.com. And then send me beats, features, etc. etc. You can get at me. My Twitter, bitcamp at young rap god. You know, you reach me at, I'm not sure, what is my Instagram? Live for 35, by all lower cases. Make sure you follow me, I follow back. Facebook, you know. Just get at me, and as far as, as, far as the music goes, y'all gonna see the takeover. Y'all guarantee you gonna see the takeover. Like, I, I seen what I was doing when I didn't have the names and ass on. For sure. Watch out for me and my team. RDD. I wanna give love to all the artists in the city, man. Uh, big ass shout out to Luck for that ass. Putting that ride together. I know I was late on there, but that was a lot of good feedback to keep a nigga valid while all this bullshit is going on. Once again, I told you I can't say too much about the legal situation. Not because I don't want to, you know, I want to talk that one shit. I'm not, though. Yeah, once it's all over, I can let y'all in on all the salt in. I saw in the game, man. I'm about to label and all that bullshit. But we focused. Yeah, back to that ride though. I think it showcased a lot of good talent, man, but the point should be across. Ain't nobody fucking with me. On no aspect possible. If that didn't improve it, the battle should prove it. And the niggas I'm gonna call out, but shit. I really watch I pay attention to what my fans like look at, look for. I read comments, I do all that. Who y'all want to see kill? I always talk to some people. I hear that shit all the time, and it kind of bothers me, motherfucker. Bro, you the artist in the city, and you supposed to be the nigga. And so, what should I do? Who y'all want to see demolish? Who y'all want to see on the track with me? Who you want me to see work with just to prove, like, lyrically, man, we supreme over here. It's dominant as fuck over here. Niggas are getting in a lot of work. Constantly. Even the motherfucker that own the label. 
he got to get behind him like he got to work. Everybody's working. Another thing that I want to discuss, um, you know, I'm a big, I'm big on music. Not to be saying in my city, there's just a lot of tension between rappers and DJs. But rappers, y'all don't realize that y'all get these DJs the fucked up mindset that they have. Like, when somebody feels like you're dependent on them, that's in any situation. Like, they gon', of course they gon' manipulate your word. Feel like they can do you any type of way. Like, these DJs feel like they're in a the position of power. And don't get me wrong, they is, but you don't need the club to just blow up. Cincinnati got that mindset because all motherfuckers do here is go to the club. They don't realize that like, you can get a following. Like I always tell my big homie, the campuses jump just as big as the club. You gotta find your following. Like with these DJs, these rappers, they be so Neanderthal, I'm not trying to shit on nobody, but a motherfucker take like 1500, give it to a DJ. DJ probably be on some purpose, like, yeah, I'm gonna spend your shit the whole month. The month go by, you're not gonna go to the club or go to like his events that entire month. Some motherfuckers might, cause I know some thirsty ass niggas out there, especially if they giving that ticket, but you're not gonna go every fucking night the whole month to make sure your shit's fun. When for real, these motherfuckers could just do it. But you're not even investing that much into your track. You invest 1500 into a song, you fuck around and have some shit, and a nigga be requesting your song to get heard. But people don't think into that. I can't even get into it and just tell niggas how to be an artist either, but as artists and as DJs, I think everybody need to tighten up, get their formula together, because in Cincinnati, excuse me, Cincinnati, things is not how they supposed to be at all. Uh, y'all breaking more niggas from the A than y'all breaking from up here, which I saying y'all gotta eat. But I know for a fact motherfuckers in the A ain't coming up here, like, I know J Money and all them motherfuckers, bro. I know they ain't coming up here dropping with no fucking DJ from them spin that shit, bro. Niggas from the Natty. We ain't about to get it. <laughs> we ain't even about to get into that, man. But point blank, man. Motherfuckers need to tighten up. For sure, as artists and DJs. Once again, I'm just a rapper. What do I know? All this fraudulent shit. Nah, I ain't even gonna get into that, man. That's typical as hell. But I cover the basics for the most. Make sure, hopefully, my nigga Stigma Focus Films put out the flyers at the end of this. Make sure y'all check out that Life is Point Fat is dropping soon. Of course, check out that everything real. That shit gon' fuck the streets up. Then the FDD mixtape follow up soon. Dirty Diamond. We working. We working. We don't clock out. FDD, the nation, for sure.